Hi, my name is Leslie Valdez, and I am the writer of Whipped Cream. I am Rodney Rincon, and I play the Judd. Hi, my name is Holger Moncada, Jr. Karina Luna, and I'm playing Lenora in Whipped Cream and Oil, written by Leslie Valdez. We've had a good time. We've, in fact, we've had did, met at Farmer's Market for extra rehearsals just to make sure we were doing our best work. I think uh, overall Roberto means well, even though he's not exactly the most mature person in the world. Like what woman at a certain age has not had relationship issues, you know? So it's fun to bring my pent up frustrations from my exes into the scene. And it's about how you can hate someone so much that no matter what they do, no matter how great or how amazing the things they do are, uh, to you, they just, they, they seem like the most vile, disgusting things in the world. And uh, I know you've been there, right? You, second row? Yeah. I know you too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to thank uh, the National Hispanic Media Coalition for putting this on. And I want to thank my actors for kicking ass. I hope you enjoy the scene. Thank you. You cite irreconcilable differences as the reason for your divorce? Yes, oh, Your yeah. Honor. Well, which is it? Water and oil. Hot chocolate and whipped cream. You see what I mean? Duly noted. Now, in the six years that you were together. Six years, 12 months, 17 days. Weeks. Yeah, but who's counting? During that time, was there ever any history of physical abuse? Not counting our sex life? I'll take that as a no. <laughs> Mr. Aguirre, show of hands, please. <laughs> what game is that? Oh, it's Angry Birds. Yeah. Can you say midlife crisis? Put it away. <laughs> now, Mrs. Aguirre, <clears throat> during your relationship with Roberto, was there ever any history of psychological abuse? Our wedding day. <sighs> Las Vegas, Nevada. A fat Elvis impersonator, he says, I, Roberto, take you, Sarah. I mean, Hilda. I mean, Rhonda. I deprived and I was high in Red Bulls. Our wedding night, Your Honor. We are in the medieval suite, in a bed that looks like a guillotine, consummating our marriage, when I suddenly hear a muffled woe. And I pull the pillow back, and guess what? He's playing Crash Bandicoot, Your Honor, on our wedding night. I was young and naive, he Your still Honor. is. Naive, that is. Duly noted. Now, regarding your children, Sparrow James Midnight. And Heavenly Harani Tiger Lily. Right. Well, would you say that Roberto's been a good father despite saddling your kids with whimsical names? He's okay. Whoa, oh, okay. Your Honor, I think kick ass with my kids. Yeah, when he's there, maybe, Your Honor, which is hardly ever, even after he got fired last year. Downsized to From his mind. menial job, Your Honor. Any machine repair is not menial. His children still need to see hide nor hair of him. I've been busting my ass. My buddy's oh, sleeping yeah? for work. What, in the pig demolition business? I play angry birds to release my pant frustrations, no thanks to you. You'd be so lucky. Well, please, let's take a brief recess. I feel a pressing need to check my blood pressure. I'll be back momentarily with my final ruling regarding custody of your two children. No. I wish I could say this was a tough decision, but I've had hangnails that were tougher. After careful consideration, the court adjudicates 100% custody to uh, Spider James Midnight and Heavenly Harani Tiger Lily to the former Mrs. Lenora Aguirre. Thank you, Your Honor. <laughs> Mr. Aguirre, please stop or I'll have you cited for contempt of court. What you Here, Your Honor. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? I don't know, can you? Are you, are you my chance of family man? Okay, well, private right, question, okay. But, but still, I, I'm sure that you could imagine the joy and thrill that comes with being a dad, as well as the responsibility. <laughs> listen, my, listen, Your Honor, my biggest fear is that, is that I won't be able to provide for my kids. 
And, and, and not just the basics, Your Honor, but, but all those extra little things that give them a leg up in the world. Yeah, like Tomb Raider 2. It builds hand-eye coordination. Your Honor, I, I just want what's best for my kids. That's why I work myself to the bone. I, I did it for Lenora's sake, too. So she could finish her MFA. And soon she, too, will learn what it's like to work a menial job. A menial? <laughs> uh, uh, Your Honor, I went straight to the top. All the more reason to let me be there for my kids, Your Honor. Otherwise, they're going to see neither height nor hair of either one of us. That is sheer speculation, Your Honor. Sustained. Mr. Aguirre, any final words you want to add? No, Your Honor. Except that Lenora named the kids, not me. Is that right? What in <laughs> heaven's name were you thinking? Your Honor, I need to run to make a very important meeting, actually. Meeting? What meeting? It's an audition for a play, Your Honor. Her MFA is in acting. There's no business like show business. My ex-wife was an actress. For real? For 20 years, three months, four weeks, two days, and 13 hours. That's awesome. It was hell. Let the record show that I am amending my previous ruling to give the father, Mr. Roberto Aguirre, 50% custody of his irresponsibly named children. May God help you Your all. Honor. Yes! Yes!